What's up, ballers? Jacob here with All Tribe No Drop, and we're talking about the bread and butter fat boy. I don't have the sauce at the time of this recording. Everyone calm down if I get it, and when I get it, I will give you the review of the sauce too. But I think people are more interested in the paddle. I think, I don't know, maybe. Drop it in the comments if uh, the sauce is more important to you. I don't know. Um, anyway, excited to talk about this one. Check out the price uh, down here. At the time I'm recording this, I'm not 100% sure on the price, so I just you know, look at the price right there. We do have a giveaway going on for a lucky winner to get the fat boy. So smash that subscribe to get yourself started in the contest right now and stick around to the end to find out how you can finish entering. Oh boy. So I did a poll and I said, hey, what is the most anticipated paddle right now? And I only put three paddles. I put the Fat Boy, I put the Ruby 14 millimeter, and I put the Groovin lasers. And the Fat Boy won by a big margin, and I was surprised. You know, I figured, you know, people would be interested. I said, man, people want the Fat Boy, they want the design, they want the wide body, and they want bread and butter. So here I am, I'm delivering the review. I've loved what Bread and Butter has been putting out, especially, I mean, the Shogun was awesome. So I was excited to check this out and I'm excited to get into my thoughts. We're gonna break down the specs real quick. We're gonna jump into my gameplay thoughts. So we'll talk about how this paddle compares to the Apollo and the Full Air Mach 2 Force, the 16 millimeter, all great uh, standard and wide body paddles. So we'll throw those in the list and we'll wrap up the conclusion. So stay tuned, let's jump into the specs and we'll get into my gameplay thoughts on the court. All right, let's talk about the Fat Boy specs real quick. It's a thermoform unibody with perimeter edge foam. It's a wide body shape. It is a carbon fiber aramid weave face um aramid is just a generic brand of kevlar so think about it as you know a lot of the people doing carbon fiber and kevlar blends dimensions 8.125 by 15.875 they did a unique mold for this 16 millimeter core average of 8.0 ounces mine came in at 8.2 handle length of 5.3 plenty of room for uh, two-handed backhands unless you have really big hands grip circumference of 4.25 inches Average swing weight of 110, mine came in at 111, and then a twist weight of 7.22, that will vary too based on the weight, but super solid twist weight for this shape, really good stuff there. Let's jump in to the gameplay. All right, let's talk about how the fat boy performs on the court, because that's what we all want to know. So this thing is a poppy little monster, okay? I thought when I heard the fat boy I was like, all right, Fat Boy's gonna be like a control monster, right? I'm just gonna eat those balls and they're just, I'm gonna pocket it and drop it back in the kitchen. No, the Fat Boy balls out. So if you're looking for a wide body paddle that is packing a punch with your flicks and your counter punches, then this is gonna be it. So let's start at the baseline. Drives feel really good with this. I'm able to keep the ball low on the drives, keep the keep the serves nice and deep. It has pretty good power for a wide body paddle. Um, you could add some weight. I tried it out with three grams at four and eight o'clock, add a little bit more power, soften up a little bit. And I think I do prefer it like that it, it, because it's so poppy on its own. So I think, you know, it's gonna be a 50-50 split on whether you're gonna like it with the lead tape set up so try that out if you want so no problem on the serves and drives great stuff there and then we're getting into the transition zone so in the transition zone when we're resetting with this it feels really good because it's super stable i'm not getting any twisting in my hand and then the the pop that the paddle provides it's it really helps with those transition uh resets and blocks when you're getting low the paddle does a lot of the work for you so i enjoy that then we start getting closer to the net on those resets that are closer to the net and the dinks, you probably will pop a few up if you're not used to a poppier paddle because this thing is, you know, so poppy that you will, it'll take some time to get used to. It does soften up a little bit as you play it, but it still stays poppy. So you're just gonna have to keep that in mind. I think if you if you like poppy and you're used to that, then this is going to be a great fit on those dinks. Plenty of spin here. Oh, you know, the over 2000 RPM, no problem with the spin on this blend. This Kevlar carbon fiber blend feels great. It is on the stiffer side. So if you are looking for a softer paddle, this isn't it. This is on the stiffer side of things. Definitely, uh, it's you know, it's not a soft, doughy paddle 
this fat boy packs a punch with that stiffness and then you know on the this is where the paddle shines and the hands battles you know super maneuverable good handle length for two-handed back hands no problem there and then those counter punches and flicks are just deadly with this paddle that is the strongest point on this paddle are those back hand flicks and speed ups and just getting in those hands battles feels super crisp super stable paddle no problem with twisting in my hands easy to go forehand backhand roll 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 overhead finish boom yeah so those are my thoughts on the fat boy on how it performs on the court this is definitely for people that want a more aggressive paddle and they want a super stylish paddle let's, let's jump into some stats real quick how it compares to other standard and wide body paddles on the market and then we'll jump into my Final thought. Okay, so how does the Fat Boy stack up against the competition? And then I'll also talk about the price. So let me just talk about the price real quick. It's uh 189 drops down to what 161 after the discount because they do 15% off. So 161 versus the Mach 2 4 is at 162, same similar price. And then the obviously the Apollo at 117. And I think that you know a lot of people are cross shopping all these wide bodies. There's not a ton, but they're getting to be more. But I think this fits a, a good place in the market. I think 161 is, you know, kind of like a mid-range price now. But to go along with the 30-day love it or leave it policy for the return, and then you know the great, um, the great branding. I think that this is worth the price when you stack it up next to the competition. Obviously, if you really want to go for lower prices, there are options available, including the Apollo. But a 162 price for all everything you get and also you get that return policy i think is a really solid value and then the stats stacking up against the competition uh the fat boy was the poppiest of these three uh at 36.5 and then it was the most powerful of these three and then i would say it has the least amount of control of the three so if you're looking for more of a control-oriented paddle, I'd go with the Mach 2 4 as a 16 millimeter, or I'd go with the Apollo if you're looking for something even more maneuverable with more control. All three have good control. It's just that's how I would stack it up in that range. And then uh, still still king of spin on this list, the Mach 2 4 is a 16 millimeter, and then the Apollo. And the Fat Boy gets great spin. It just doesn't get that elite elite spin but honestly most people aren't going to be able to tell the difference so that's how it stacks up against you know some of the best competition right now so let's move on to my conclusion and wrap up so who is the fat boy for is it for you is it for me it could be for both of us but honestly, it is a great paddle, great wide body. So now they have an excellent lineup. They have their hybrid, they have their elongated, and they have their wide body. And it's a tough if you're like, which design do I like more? The Fat Boy or the Shogun? I, I don't know. They're both so cool. They're both obviously very different. This one's a little bit more playful. Shogun, I feel like gets a little more serious. I don't know, well, what do you want? So this paddle is interesting. You know, it's on the stiffer side, in my opinion, it has a little bit more pop than other wide bodies. So I would classify it as a more offensive paddle and it has good power for a wide body. So it's not a control paddle. I think it's an all court leaning power when you consider the pop of the paddle and it has a great swing weight and twist weight combo the you know the 111 swing weight i got the average is 110 uh and then that twist weight of 7.22 excellent so fast in the hands maneuverable and you can just do pretty much what you want at the net with this thing because not twisting in your hands has the pop to finish firefights and has the spin you need for the rolls and maneuverability. I think a lot of people are gonna like this paddle. I know a lot of people have been waiting to make their decision on what they're gonna get because they really wanted to know this paddle. I think it's gonna, gonna be a great one for a lot of people if those are the things you're looking for. Two-handed backhand is slightly tighter than some of the other ones, but doable. My hands, I don't know, a little bit above average size, but I didn't feel like my shot was too bad for the two-handed backhand. And then my weight setup. So originally I was playing with it more for an eight o'clock, like, you know, a little bit more up here. I moved it down because I wanted to, I mean, it doesn't affect the swing weight that much, but this gets me to 112 swing weight. 
and it gets me to around 7, 8, twi 7 8 twist weight. And it makes it a little softer. So improve the sweet spot, give it a little bit more power, and make it a little softer. That's what my goal was by moving it down a little bit. Didn't want to increase the swing weight too much, and you don't really need to increase the twist weight. I just wanted a little bit softer, a little bit more power. This is my preferred setup, three grams right here. So basically we're starting at the 700 carbon fiber and going down. And then on the left side, we're starting at like the P and the pickleball company and going down. Try that setup. I think it is great. It can be played stock, no problem. So don't get me wrong there. I do recommend this. If you like the things that I said, uh, you know, it faces a lot of stiff competition. Some stuff below it in price point, some stuff above it in price point, but it slots in nicely. You get an amazing looking paddle, an amazing performance, and it just depends if this is what you want in a paddle. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to enter the contest, follow the rules on the screen. And as always, drop your comments. I love to hear what's going on, what you think about the fat boy, what are you playing with, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know, just tell me. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe. That'd be awesome if you aren't subscribed yet. I mean, you're missing out. Don't want you to miss out. And as always, go play some pickleball, people, let's go.